April 1st. Um, you guys aren't seeing this till the next day, but Amazon. Right after I posted the Amazon update, a lot of you guys were saying that this has been around for a while. It was new to me, so that's why I did the video. But then a couple of people were coming to me saying that they changed their thing, they changed their thing. So I'm going to share with you guys what's going on with Amazon. So I actually had to take a picture of my screen because I couldn't screenshot it. But Amazon is changing their program a little bit, but it, it's not a bad thing. It says we're introducing changes starting today. So today's April 1st. You'll earn a reward for each receipt. No more than 10 receipts minimum. You can still earn up to $10 a so month. So it's the same thing. You're going to still scan 10 receipts. But they are having it where it has to be specific receipts. Okay, like you can't scan Whole Foods receipts. That's the thing that you can't do. But now it says we're also updating our accepted receipts categories. Receipts from service businesses like restaurants, gas stations, delivery, shipping, software will no longer be eligible. So like, I know my mom, she scans every single receipt she has, like res like restaurant receipts and stuff. So they won't be taking restaurant receipts. Um, they won't be taking stuff like that. The majority of your receipts, such as like grocery stores, big box, dollar stores, clothing stores will still be accepted. The reason why they want those receipts, because they want to check the items that you're purchasing. And what they do is they check out what their prices are because they want to be cheaper. So you buy from them. So that's basically what they're doing. There's this price matching and they can't really price match, you know, restaurant receipts. So like anything for like just your normal shopping at stores, like, you know, Target, Walmart, the mall stores anything those are okay they just don't want you doing like small business receipts you know stuff kind of stuff like that so that's basically the only thing that is really happening with the amazon app that has changed and started this month so you still are allowed your 10 receipts that you guys can scan pretty easy you just scan your receipts just like this then they have the surveys i got a couple surveys this past month which was great um i think i made i made 14.50 for the month of March fourteen dollars and fifty cents for the month month of March. So far since I've had this app, I've made four hundred and seventy eight dollars, which is great. So you want to do the surveys? Always check that. But then I have this thing where it's the ads. Um, I just have this on. It's an automatic two dollars. What they do is they just keep track of ads that pop up for you. Again, they're just trying to price match stuff. That's all they're doing. And then I talked about this the other day. They have beta um, offers, which is beta. And basically what it is, like I had five offers where if I bought like a purple mattress, I would have gotten $2. Or if I bought a TV, I would have gotten this. Don't buy this stuff just to get your $2. It is not worth it. Unless there's something that's like the same price. Um, but I know like they're in the beta program. So they'll see what people are not going to buy and what people are going to buy. So just give you guys a heads up with that. Uh, right now I don't have any offers or I didn't redeem anything. But if I do find something, I can always like just make a quick post about it. But yeah. So Amazon chopper panel is still the same way. I'm going to tell you guys this. I get this every single time I post one of these videos. I don't know why not everybody's accepted. I don't know why. My husband has been on the waiting list for over a year and a half. I don't, maybe two years. I don't know why they're not letting people join. I don't know. You just got to keep checking it. Um, uh, my husband and I share an Amazon account. So that could be the reason why he's on the waiting list because we're on the same prime member account. So if somebody in your household is sharing your prime account, make sure that they're not, they might be having the app. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, otherwise you can always contact Amazon and say, Hey, how long, you know, could I be, maybe they might be able to help you out, but it's an easy app. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little update of what is going on with Amazon. But to me, it, nothing really changes. I, most receipts that I scan anyways are all shopping receipts. So, um, I rarely ever scan, uh, restaurant receipts except like for fetch rewards, but I just want to give you guys a quick heads up on that. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye.